Hello, hello, hello. Yay, we are live. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you for your patience. As always, we are creating a powerful vortex. Sometimes cyberspace is catching up. So welcome to this two-part masterclass, Rise and Thrive as a Woman. I'm so excited and honored to take you through this journey, this incredible sacred vortex that we are in together. So say hi, where you're from, where you're tuning in, and really say, I am open to receive all that is available for me here right now. So this is just a beautiful time that we get together. I am someone who is deeply passionate to see women truly be in lives where they are rising and thriving. So my intention for today is to remind you that you have all the answers within you, that you already have all of the tools, all of the skills, and all of the wisdom inside of you to create and live the life that you truly desire. And my job as a woman's empowerment mentor and what I do with my clients is to ignite that, to really bring this to the surface so that you are in alignment with the life that you are destined for. So I'm super excited to do this work. I feel really honored that I have incredible women that I get to support and the transformations that I have seen are epic. And today, in day one, we are going to claim the women that we are. So I really would love for you to just take a moment and take a breath, put your hands on your heart and allow this expansion, allow yourself to fully be open to receive all that is available to you, not just in this moment, but in all moments. Let's take a deep breath. Let's just tune into this energy right now that we're in here together. So beautiful. Thank you for being here. I want to remind you that you are divinely worthy of everything that you already are perfect, and that you already are amazing. And all we're going to do right here, right now, today, as we rise into our authentic blueprint, is to truly remember who we are, right? You have come here as this incredible, sensational woman, and it's time to be liberated from everything that has stopped you or prevented you, or that you've allowed that has stopped you from being this woman that you have come here to be. So I really would love to take a moment to see and share in my vision of what I hope for every woman. And if you have your workbook, if you have downloaded your workbook, amazing. Let's start really getting in the vibe. We're going to do a lot of releasing in just a moment. But my vision for women is that we are truly tapping into our greatness. Women are so powerful. Women are amazing, amazing. And somewhere along the line, we've kind of forgotten that. We've been suppressed. We have been shunned. We have been murdered. We have been all the things that has stopped us from truly being ignited in our power. And so my vision and my dream, and I know the soul work that I'm here to do, is to re reawaken women to this energy that I, called, that I call femme. And femme are the original women that walked the earth, women that seeded the earth, women that were in a time when the earth was beautiful and thriving, and there was harmony, and there was success and experience and it was an incredible time to be alive and because of all the love that was transmitted from these women and all the creation that was able to be experienced on earth when these lower energies came in 
they kind of trapped these these women because they were doing so much good and throughout our lives what we've done is we have mastered the skills to be able to re-emerge to hold this energy once again as femmes here on earth and so right now this is the work that i do is i reawaken women to their femme energy but in order to be reignited to this really powerful and sacred energy that we all are as women it's inside each and every single one of us is we have to release what has kept women in a constant loop of suffering and trauma and societal bonds that has kept women from playing small that has kept women from their greatness and so right now in your workbooks and if you don't have a workbook just write it write it down right but what are you truly ready to release what have you had as a constant thought in your mind as to why you can't be the woman that you know in your heart to be right i am so honored that we now get to be released from that <laughs> if you don't have a workbook it would have been emailed to you and you just need to click on the download button uh, of that it just says click here so just check your emails check your spam just in case it has gone there but I would love for you to just write it down write down what you are ready to release maybe you're ready to release that it has to be hard that you have to work hard to get what you want maybe you're ready to release that because you've been cheated on by your partner that you're not worth you're, you're not lovable maybe you're ready to release that women in your family are always hard done by maybe you're ready to release that you were never picked as the cool girl maybe you're ready to release that you don't look like the women in the magazines and so you're not worthy of having a great life that maybe that you're ready to release that you're not educated so you can't earn millions of dollars whatever it is that is in your heart right now what do you feel ready to release because the more you release the more you free yourself and you can realign to your truth because none of that is true you are love you are joy you are pleasure you are freedom you are abundance you are sensational and anything other than that is not your truth and we have to release it it is time to let it go right so write it down and then once you've written it down i just would love for you to imagine that all the stuff that you have held on to all the stories oh i'm a mean girl so i'm gonna just keep hating on myself all of my life i'm going to keep torturing my body and all of that kind of stuff really just let it go release it and i want you to imagine that now you have all of the stuff right really activate your sacral chakra your abdomen feel it get angry actually like get angry and go how dare society tell me that i am anything other than worthy right let's really feel that in your abdomen like get angry get mad right how dare i am told that i am anything other than beautiful how dare i be anything other than wealthy how dare i be anything other than sensational and powerful and recognized and honored and loved for the woman that i am i want you to get angry and feel it in your sacral chakra and be like mad super mad right feel it and now envision this in a rose gold ball of energy feel that transmuted from your sacral chakra into this ball and what this energy now this is the femme energy the rose gold light what it's going to do is it's just going to dissolve it disperse it with love back into the universe feel that take three deep breaths and feel your shoulders go back down and release it it's no longer yours to carry <sighs> letting it go see that rose gold light just disperse it and transmute it and dissolve it 
We are unsubscribing from these thoughts and these beliefs. They do not serve us. They do not serve the collective consciousness of women. They do not serve our future generations. They have been preventing us from fully rising. And we know that when women are in their most powerful self, we make this world a better place. And this is why for so long we have been suppressed and told to be quiet and not have the same equals rights as men because of how powerful we are. And now that we are entering this beautiful energy that is the 5D consciousness and vibration of this earth, we are being activated. We are remembering that we are here to expand this earth into beauty, into passion, into love, so that we can all experience the love the abundance, the joy that we deserve to have and we know is available in this earth. This is now what we are stepping into. So as you feel this leaving your body, right, allow yourself to be liberated from this. Let me know how this feels inside of you that you got so mad and now you're like free from this. This is no longer your truth. This is no longer your reality. And so let's breathe that in. Let's breathe in this goodness now that we've created room for new, that you have now released all of this stuff and you will continue to release this. You are being powerfully activated right now to have all of this stuff, all of the generations worth of uh, suffering and trauma and karma that you have held in your body is going to be released. Right, so when we talk about our authentic blueprint, we each have as beings when we are created, we are created in light and love and in sound, right? That's why you'll hear people say light and love, because that is what we are. And we are created as this perfection, through perfection, I should say, and we are created as this embodiment of energy with infinite creative potential. And so our authentic blueprint is that we are already perfect, that there is nothing wrong with us. In fact, we are infinite, that we are here to, for expansion, for growth. We are all here to play our part, to expand in the universe, right? So when we are tapping into our authentic blueprint, we tap into our truth. And you'll often hear me say, tap into your heart, because I truly believe that when we tap into our heart, we disconnect from the mind and the ego, and we reconnect once again to that authentic blueprint, to who we truly are. And so in that heart, right, which is where we love, this is where our truth resides. And so place your hand on your heart right now and allow yourself to truly connect to your truth. Tap into those codes of who you are as a woman. Tap into receiving for the first time, or maybe you've known this all along, but you've, you've, you've kind of lost your way a bit and that's okay because you're here and you're receiving it now. Breathing it in. Receive these codes, these blueprints. It is like your soul's DNA. As human beings, we... Sorry, my Siri. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Um, as beings, right? As human beings, we have our own DNA helix. Your authentic blueprint is your soul's DNA helix. This is where you house all of your skills, all of the things that make you uniquely you, that you actually bring in every lifetime and that you keep mastering. So whether it is that you are an incredible speaker, whether it is that you're an amazing artist, whether it is that you are an amazing dancer, that you're an incredible nurturer, whatever it might be, right? And when we enter the vortex of Femme Rebirth, which is my eight-week program, we really dive into this. We dive into our authentic blueprint. And in the femme energy, the blueprints that we work with are beauty, sensuality, money, power, 
divinity, and sisterhood. These are the foundations for you being ignited as the woman that you came here to be. A lot of us as women, we have been caught in the loops in all of these foundations that have kept us playing small. We've all been trapped somewhere in all of these, right? Because I'm sure at some point in your life, you have been made to feel ugly. You have maybe been told, oh, don't put that on. That does not suit you. You're too fat or you're too skinny. Eat some salad, whatever it might be. Don't have the cake. It will go to your thighs. We've all been told stuff like this. And so when we look in the mirror, we have our taken our power taken away from us because we don't feel beautiful. But I'm here to remind you that you are perfect. You are beautiful as you are. You are a monument, as my grandfather would say, right? You are absolute embodiment of beauty. And so we dive deep into Femme Rebirth, into reigniting this beauty element, foundation and code into you. So today I want you to allow yourself to receive that and maybe you will receive the code and write down, I am beautiful. I am flipping beautiful. My body is beautiful. My body is perfect. Receive those codes because that is your truth, right? My body is a beautiful playground, <laughs> right? My body allows me to have this physical life. My smile lights up the world. Whatever it is, receive those codes right now when it comes to your beauty. Receive it, put your hand on your heart and go, what is my truth when it comes to beauty? What is my authentic blueprint in my beauty? Allow yourself to receive that now and write it down. Write it down powerfully. And then if you want to scream it out, I am beautiful. I am claiming the fact that I am beautiful because that is the only truth. Anything other than that is an illusion that is keeping you from thriving, from rising, from being the incredible, sensational woman that you came here to be in this world. And now let's tap into sensuality. Because as women, oh yeah, yeah, we have been robbed of our pleasure. There are so many women that will never experience an orgasm. And that, my loves, it's cruelty, <laughs> absolute cruelty, because orgasms are a really powerful way to manifest. And in Fem Rebirth, this is one of my favorite topics to talk about because we truly liberate ourselves. Because women, we, are, we tend to put everybody else before us. We, if we are mothers, we are giving to our children, we're giving to our husbands or our wives, or we, you know, we are giving to the family, all the responsibility gets put onto us. It's like you're denied the cake, you learn from a very young age, you know, like don't, um, don't give in to your pleasure, right? Serve everybody else first. And so we forget what it's like to feel so good, right? Pleasure is the doorway to creation. It is how we manifest the lives that we want, that we desire. And this is why men are so badass at creating the lives that they want and why we see so many men in power and success because they don't deny themselves of pleasure. It is okay for a little boy to be touching his boy parts and we laugh and we go, oh, he's just being a boy. But if a girl the same age is to do that, we go, girls don't do that. Girls don't touch themselves. That's naughty, right? But with boys, it's okay. It's okay for them to experience pleasure, right? So we are denied the fact that we are here to love up on life, right? I would love for you to say, I am here to experience the highest possible pleasure. So I claim my pleasure. So sensuality is powerful. When you are embodied in your femme energy and you claim your confidence because having pleasure in your life makes you confident. It makes you unstoppable. 
and it allows you to create the life that you truly desire. Because if you're denying yourself of pleasure, there's no surprise that your life isn't the way you want it to be. So this is why we dive really deep into receiving the code for sensuality. It is so important and it is one that women deprive themselves of because our virginity was a prize. I'm sorry, but our virginity is not someone's prize to gain, right? This is history. This is what is in us. So if you haven't written that as part of something that we release, it's like my orgasms, my <laughs> sensuality, my body is mine. It does not belong to anybody else. It is not someone else's prize. It is not somebody else's uh, to do whatever they wish with unless I consent, right? So women, so many have been raped and murdered and all the things and um, mutilated and all the stuff, right? That is housed in our collective consciousness as women. And so there's no surprise that we deny ourselves. We deprive ourselves of the foods that we want to eat. We deprive ourselves of the clothes that we want to wear. We deprive ourselves from doing, you know, the activities that we want to do because we're like, oh no, I can't have pleasure. That's bad, right? And so we are releasing that. So put your hand on your heart and receive the codes for sensuality. And that might be that right here, right now, you realize that having orgasms is sensational. It feels good. Having a wet pussy, having your pussy pleasured is your divine right. That is why you are a woman. Women give life to life. We are creation. We create. And so I would love for you to just receive the codes that it is my divine right to have joy. I choose to receive that pleasure is how I create. Receive these codes now. What is it in your authenticity? I guarantee that in your authentic blueprint, it is not to deny yourself of what brings you joy, what makes you feel good. That's not in your authentic blueprint to be denied of that. It is actually for you to experience more of it. The more pleasure you have in your life, the more you get to live in your desires. Remember, there is a connection to pleasure and your desires. If you are denying yourself of the pleasure, you are denying yourself of your manifestations. And your manifestations are yours to bring into this world. And we will dive into that tomorrow in day two but receive the codes. So this week in Fem Rebirth, when we do sensuality, it unlocks women. Like it is the week where a lot of transformation happens because this is a major block for women. And this is why we're liberating ourselves from it. And it's a really fun week to actually be a part of. And it, it just allows us to see life in a completely different way. We get to be better mothers. We get to be better employees or badass women because we're filling our cup first, right? It feels good to have a bath in the middle of the day just because, right? You do not need anybody's permission as to what you do with your body, as to how you allow yourself to feel in your body. No one else gets to decide that but you. You are sensational. Receive the codes. Pleasure is my doorway to creation. I manifest through pleasure. We don't manifest through denial and scarcity. <laughs> like we probably do all the stuff that we don't want, but what we truly desire. Allow yourself to feel. What do you desire in this moment? What do you truly like? want to have yeah so the next one that we want to receive our authentic code for is money because guess what it's only been in the last 50 to 100 years that women have been allowed to have their own bank accounts can you like flip and blow your mind that women have been subjected to their husbands as to how they get to do life 
How many of you remember your grandmothers saying, I'm waiting for granddad to give me the money. Granddad does all the work and then I have to figure out how to spend the money. And how many of your grandmothers denied themselves because they had to feed the family instead? They didn't have jobs. They became codependent. And so women, we are so behind when it comes to wealth because we have been denied of it for so long. And so when women have money, when they have money, they invest it back into their families and their communities. When women have money, they make this world better. More things are um, able to be supported, organizations and things like that, because women invest more in those things than men. Men just like store money away and, and do whatever. Men don't have a problem investing in themselves. Women, we have to ask permission because for so long, for so many generations, we didn't even have any rights to our own money. Even if in a family you uh, got your inheritance, it belonged to your husband. How nuts is that? So women, we are working our butts off and we're not receiving the equal amount of pay to men right in a job that you're in right now there is a man earning so much more than you and he's probably not even as qualified as you yeah and he's going to get the promotion over you because he's a man and you're a woman and you're supposed to be kept down right flip and release that because that is not true so my desire is to see women wealthy because wealth gives you options Wealth gives you the opportunity to make the impact you have come here to, to do. It gives you the opportunity to support the things that you truly want to make a difference in. It allows you to fully be embodied in abundance. Money is units of abundance. Money is how we receive divine compensation from the universe. And so when we do money, we align to soul money. We, we in the femme consciousness, it's a different vibration, right? We can have lots of money and still be unhappy. But when we use our soul money, when we use wealth in the way that it was intended for expansion, for growth, for joy, right? How many times have you stopped yourself buying the hat or the handbag or having the massage or doing whatever because you're like, I can't spend money on myself or I have to ask my husband or, you know, what's my family going to think if I earn multi millions of dollars doing what I love? Like we're so caught up in these loops and these paradigms that keep us from being broke and being imprisoned. So money, right? isn't necessarily the opportunity for you to be like a stuck up bitch, but it gives you the opportunity to have options because a lot of women stay in uh, abusive relationships or relationships that are so soul destroying because they don't have the finances to get out of that relationship. And so this is why in Femme Rebirth, when you feel and you become part of that vortex, you release all of that. And I have seen women in my program get not one pay rise, but two pay rise <laughs> who have gone for new jobs and asked for the money that they, that they desired and got it. Because when you're in that frequency and vibration of what money truly is, you open up a new reality for you. So these women who've done Femme Rebirth now are experiencing so many more options. They're being valued. They're being respected. They're able to create opportunities and support their families and their communities in the way that they have always desired to because now money is a constant flow. They are no longer imprisoned to the lack of money in their bank account. Instead, they're fucking empowered with the money in their bank account and they're going, yes, please, of course, more. Let's do this. So let's put our hands on our hearts and receive our authentic blueprint for money because money is a flow of energy. That's all it is. Money is beautiful. Money loves you. Money loves being in your life so that you get to play. Money gives you options, right? 
have a beautiful love relationship with money love money like you love your partner maybe even more right so receive the codes i am here to be wealthy i am here to be in abundance i am here to allow the flow of abundance to be expansive in my life I allow money, I receive money, the code that money gives me the opportunity to live an incredible life. Whatever it is, receive the codes. Your authenticity, your authentic blueprint is to be abundant. You are not here to be limited. You are here to be expansive. And money is the way that we currently and on earth do this. So we really dive deep into getting the codes for money, right? And then power. This is a goodie. This is one that I love because so many women do not feel powerful. But you are the only person. You are the only thing getting in the way of your own power, and that's because for so long we've had that robbed from us. Many of us have in our karmic that we were burnt or that we were drowned as witches for being powerful. And so it's uh, been quite a interesting uh, shift now as we see so many more women in power. Well, what tends to happen is that a lot of women in power are in the masculine energy rather than in the feminine energy. And so what happens is that we are exhausted, we are run down, we are uh, feeling completely like all over the place. It's like, you know, we're a tug of war all the time. So in Femme Rebirth, when we do the power module, we realign to who we are in our inner power, that confidence, the ability to say no to things that are not in alignment, right? You want to spend the weekend with your family and your boss says you've got this project to do on Monday. You say no, not unless you're going to give me an extra five grand. I'm not sacrificing that time with my family because it's not your job to work in the weekends. You do not get paid for that, right? So you stand in your power and say no to what is not in alignment, right? You be Come so confident in your in your ability to manifest that you just know boom it is here it is like i know it it's already on its way right so our power isn't about like world domination we're not talking that kind of power but it's the ability to be authentic it's the ability to stay in our integrity and in our sovereignty so our power is our confidence it comes from our sacral it is connected to joy and pleasure and creativity it's all of those things right I feel activated in my abdomen like I'm feeling all of you receiving these codes so put your hand on your heart and receive your authentic codes for your power right I am here to be in alignment to what feels good I say no to what is not for my highest I, you know, I receive the codes that I am always in alignment with what is best for me. I have a voice. I get to be heard. I get to be seen, right? Because a lot of the time we weren't, right? We got burnt <laughs> or beheaded or something, right? So we really allow ourselves to speak, to be in and this beautiful power, our femme energy. And uh, this is just beautiful because I've seen women completely turn their lives around when they're embodied in their power. And your power, you know, is something that we've given away so easily because from young, from a young age, we're told to play with dollies and to serve others. And I've seen, you know, many women our mothers, young, you know, who actually just had babies in Femme Rebirth because that's when we tend to give our power away the most because, you know, we've got this little human being that's so dependent on us. And I'm not saying being a mother is, you know, like robbing you of your power, but it's the way that we've been told to be a mother. Being a mother is delicious. It is creation. Whether you get to be a biological mother or you play the role of a mother is beautiful. 
right? But it's how we are ta taught to mother that is how we take our power away. And so we're here to really shift that. The This incredible energy that I really hope you are receiving is that there is a new reality and a new paradigm for you that you get to activate. That is the truth within you. And that is what our power allows us to, to receive. So let me know what codes you're receiving. I have no idea that you guys have been typing, <laughs> so I can't see the things going up, but thank you so much for being here and being lit up to ignite your power, right? So our divinity, and this also ties in really well, and, and this is why in Femme Rebirth we have the sequence. I've specifically curated this program to take you through an incredible journey that just lights you up module after module after module. It's like a building block, right? And so divinity, this is a big one. A lot of us fear our own divinity. We're afraid of our own intuition. We're afraid of connecting with our ancestors. We're like so afraid of like, ah, is God going to like punish me? Am I going to go to hell? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, 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 right? Your divinity is the most natural part of you. You are more spirit than you are body, right? Your intuition is constantly guiding you as to how to live your life in the most beautiful way with ease and flow and infinite creation. And so, because we were the witches and because we were the sage and because we were the medicine women and all those things and we, you know, were able to heal ourselves, we were able to be empowered, we were shunned for that. We were murdered, we were burnt, we were ridiculed, right? And it's kind of been um, made throughout our history, especially from the medieval times, that we must abide to this greater power. But I am here to say to you that you and God are the same. You and source are the same. You are the universe. You are a speck of the universe. You are not separate from the universe. You are light. You are dark. You are it all. And it's just what you choose to embody, right? So our intuition, connection, being a channel, all of that is absolutely natural to us. But we were told that we were going to go to hell and that we are really bad if we use this. If we believe in ourselves, you are terrible. <laughs> Don't believe in yourself. Believe in something greater than you so that you never do anything great. That's literally what it is. And so when we dive into our divinity, it's super interesting because I've seen so many women go, I'm too scared because I was brought up religious and there's nothing wrong with religion. There are some beautiful things in religion, but it's how religion is presented. It is actually a form of manipulation and control because the only thing is love. Love is our religion. Love is our embodiment, joy and abundance, right? This is the sacredness of our divinity. And so this is what we release. This is what we ignite. And so when you're tuned into your divinity, right, you are receiving, go to the beach and then you go to the beach and you get this inspiration. You are, you know, inspired to pick up the book and go, oh my gosh, now I have a new business idea or, oh, this is amazing. And so you feel empowered to do the things that you are called to do. Your intuition is like the greatest asset and this is why right now there's so much fear in the world because if you were in tune to your intuition you will see the bullshit you will see the shit show that is going on right now and laugh and go this is ridiculous this is not my truth i am a sovereign being of light and love and i know that fear is not real fear is not real it is not in my paradigm I choose to exist in a world that is beautiful. So receive the codes right now for your divinity. I am intuitive. I am a channel. I am constantly guided by my soul. My soul speaks to me. My team of light is here to support me. My guardian angels are constantly guiding me. I am fully loved and supported. I can heal myself, right? No one heals you. No doctor, no healer, no one does that. 
They might facilitate the space and the vortex, but you heal yourself. You heal yourself. Do not let anybody take that power away from you. This is what we are creating. This is the real paradigm and what we are as women. We are flipping amazing and powerful. And it is time that we reclaimed that. So our divinity is super important. Receive the codes now. And then we tap into sisterhood. Now, sisterhood is really important because as women, we are told to be really competitive with each other, right? You're not the popular girl. You're the fat girl. You're this, you're that. Oh, you can't be friends with her if you're friends with me. And so it's like such a messed up thing. Like, I'm so proud of you, but don't be more popular than me. Don't be more successful than me. And we have so many women that backstab each other, that run each other down, that are gossiping, that are creating so much jealousy and just so much ickiness. I am appalled by how women talk about other women sometimes. And I'm like, whoa. How can you say that about another woman? You have no idea what she is going through, what it took for her to get to where she is in her life. And so when you enter the femme paradigm, none of that is like in your vortex. You are surrounded by women who are empowering, who are inspiring, that want to see you genuinely succeed. And a lot of us don't have circles like this. We have circles where we have to be mindful of what we're saying. Let's say you got a promotion. Could you tell your friend that or would she be jealous? Would she be encouraging you to start a business or would she be saying, oh no, you know, you've got a job, you're earning enough money. Like that's, that's like a really, you know, unsafe thing for you to do. Do you truly have women in your corner that want to see you thrive? Because if you don't, then I invite you into Femme Rebirth because that is the paradigm that we play with, right? Where you are surrounded by women who really want to see you succeed, that want to see you achieve things that other people think is impossible. And I've seen it over and over again, and I have all the testimonials to show you, and, and that it can be done for you too. Because there is nothing different from any of these women compared to who you are. You are this woman. You All that is stopping you is making the choice to become her, right? We all have a choice right here, right now, whether we embody who we truly are or whether we embody someone else's illusion of who we are. That's it. There is no other choice. You are either free or you are imprisoned in someone else's reality, someone else's expectation and version of what your life gets to be. And so if you want to be free from that, Type in, I choose to be free. I am liberating myself. Really like get in there, get in the vortex. So in sisterhood, this is really important. Women, we are tribal people. We, we thrive when we're together, when we're part of a collective. It's magic. It's beautiful. It's sensational, right? We like, it feels so good. So allow yourself to receive the codes for sisterhood. If you were authentic to you what kind of friends do you have around you i have women who inspire me i'm surrounded by women who want to do great things in the world right are you surrounded by women who are of service who or who are of gossip and just blame and shame right because those are not the kinds of women that i choose to be around right the clients that i have in my life are delicious the friends i have in my life are flipping amazing because I just don't tolerate it. That's just not my reality. I will not engage in gossip and shame and bring another woman down, right? I mean, there may be like a moment I might slip, but in, on the whole, that is not the kind of person I am because I know I've seen my own self in my life and what I've had to do to get here. I cannot place judgment on another woman, but what I can do is I can support her to find her own magnificence, to help her to rise. I am not going to bring another woman down. No, <laughs> there are enough women doing that. I'm here to help women to rise. This is, we are rising into our authentic blueprint. So are you the type of woman that supports other women to rise and thrive? Let me know. I support other women to thrive. That is the caliber of women. That is a femme. Femmes, support other women, right? They are there cheering them on. 
there when things are falling apart, finding a solution, not enabling victimhood. Because I guarantee you, a lot of the friends you have in your life are enabling you to stay small. And that is not our truth. We are here to be bold, to be seen, to make an impact, to be divinely ourselves. Because that is flipping powerful. So now I'd love for you to, in your booklet, you will see that a lot of the time we're not being these women because we feel like an imposter. Who am I to do this? I can't do that. Like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, and you feel like an imposter. But what I'd love for you to do is right here, claim it, knowing that there is nothing that you cannot do. You are infinite. So without judgment, if you were to believe in yourself, how would life look like? How would your life be if you fully allowed yourself to believe in you? If you believed in you, how different would your life be right now? Right? How different would it be? And how you feel about yourself, right? If I believed in me, I would see that I am beautiful and I would allow my beauty to shine so that other women get to feel beautiful too. I would tell other women how beautiful they are. I would show them their, uh, their best qualities. I would bring that to the surface, right? If you believed in yourself, how differently would you allow pleasure in your life? I would do what I love. I would let passion guide me. I would allow myself to feel good and stop the self-loathing all the time, right? Oh, it's exhausting what goes on in our heads, right? I would be such a magnet to my desires and creation, right? If I believed in myself, and money, how differently would my life be? I would be wealthy. I would be making an impact. I would be supporting communities. I would be making a global difference. I would be living in a house that I get to decorate how I want. Like, well, what would that be for you if you believed in yourself that you could earn the money that you know you deserve to earn? Right? Whether you're qualified in what you believe doesn't matter. You have the past life mastery of this. You've got it. You spent lifetimes mastering it. Now's the time for you to be liberated into it. So what would that look like for your power, for your divinity, and for sisterhood? If you believed in yourself, what kind of women would you have around you? If you believed in yourself... How would you allow your intuition to play a role in your life? How would you allow your spirit team to play a role in your life? How would you heal yourself? If you believed in you, how different would life be now? Because this is the way forward. When you believe in yourself, you open up all the doors. How many times have we heard stories of people who did the impossible, the unimaginable, because they believed in themselves. When you believe in yourself, the universe responds and matches that. There is no other option. When you fully believe in you, there is no other option than the universe supporting you because you're in that frequency, you're in that, you're in that vibration of absolute trust, love, abundance, joy. When you believe in yourself, you are unstoppable. And this is why you live in a world right now that is making you believe in anything other than yourself. And this is why the work that I do is so potent and powerful and transformational because we don't buy into that. As in Femme Rebirth, what we do is we dismantle all of that, we release it, and you believe in you so fucking much that everything in your life that is not in alignment with that goes. And all you do is you attract opportunity, miracles, magic, all of it into your life. Because when you're so confident in believing in yourself, 
that is the reality that you get to create, that you get to be in. All right. So I would love for you to now receive some guidance from your own femme energy. In Femme Rebirth, we really dive deep into what that is. This energy, it has a name, it has a presence. But for right now, as we rise into our authentic blueprint today, I would love for you to put your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your abdomen and take some really nice deep breaths. Really feel into that. And as you breathe, feel into the expansion. Feel your abdomen, your chest expand and contract because life, is a web and flow of expansion and release. Expansion and release. We are constantly growing as the women that we have come here to be. We receive the incre incremental upgrades by choosing ourselves. Here right now, tap into your feminine energy, your femme power. Feel that in your sacral chakra. That's where it resides, your sacral chakra and your heart. This is your femme power right? Feel ignited. What divine guidance do you receive right now? Take really nice deep breaths. Tune into this powerful, most highest version of you that is here to be in physical embodiment this lifetime. You are here to become this incredible woman. You already are her, but you are here to bring her into reality. You are a multidimensional being. You are multifaceted. And this is the highest version of you. What wisdom do you receive right now? Write it down. What are you guided to feel, to experience in this moment from this energy? What is your highest self? What does your femme self want to tell you right now? Feel into that. It's so beautiful. Keep breathing it in, receive it, whether it be a picture in your mind, whether it be a sensation in your body, whether it be thoughts that come into your mind, a song, whatever it is, feel into it, acknowledge it. And if you feel nothing, ask if I was to know what message you want to share with me right now, what would it be? Stop saying, I can't, I don't have anything, I don't know. You do know. The answers are within you. You have all of the answers that you seek. They're all inside of you. Stop telling yourself that you can't have something, that you can't be something. What does your femme energy truly want to tell you right now? And if you feel like you want to share it in the comments, then do so. That would be beautiful. I'm also going to pick a card. So maybe you're going to receive something from this message as well. That was bad shuffling. <laughs> All right, spirits, divine themes, what is the message? Oh, here we go. So we have the diamond star, <laughs> destiny. Oh gosh, I love this stuff so much, right? So we have, I focus on service and I follow my higher purpose. We're definitely going to talk about this tomorrow in day two when we do the thrive part of the masterclass. But right now, what is your femme energy telling you? Who are you? Who are you? What kind of woman, woman I should say, are you? This is what you're being called upon. This is your time to rise. This is the time to fully be activated and awakened to this paradigm. You are flipping amazing. Your destiny is to be amazing. Your destiny is to create and redefine what it means to be a woman so that future generations, your children, your grandchildren get to be fully liberated of all the suffering, of all this trauma and all the society expectations and loops that we keep being told that women should be. It's all bullshit. None of it is true. I mean, some of it might be true, of course, but you are divinely worth it. You are sensational. That is your truth. You are magnificent. You are so beautiful. You are powerful. You are an incredible creator. 
This is your truth. This is your destiny. This is who you are. You are a flippin' queen. You are a goddess. You are a priestess. You are it all. This is who you are. Activate this energy. And so by being activated, by following your truth, claim it. Who are you claiming to be right here, right now? Say, this is our declaration. This is the last little bit of this day one. <laughs> really get in your body and fire it up if you need to. Bring the energy into you. Really bring it in. Be activated. Feel into your body. Feel into this magnificent body. Oh, it is so good. I love my body so much. Right? Oh, it is beautiful. It is perfect. Feel into the energy that it houses. It's so amazing. Declare it. What kind of woman do you choose to be? I choose to be a woman who is making a powerful impact in the world. I choose to be a woman who is beautiful and lights up the beauty in others. I choose to be a woman who is wealthy and has choices and is giving back to her community. I choose to be a woman who is <laughs> who is embodying so much flippin' pleasure, right? <sighs> what do you choose to be? This is your moment to declare, to rise into her. I'm so excited for you. This is powerful stuff. This is super powerful. And it may be really emotional. It may be emotional and it's okay to release. Really just allow yourself to feel into your truth. Who are you? Who are you? This is the time where you stop denying who you truly are and you embody all that you are, your truth fact that you are magnificent in every way shape and form that is your truth and so i'm excited to see you for day two you're going to receive a powerful activation to anchor all of this in all of this rise energy so that will be there for you and of course i invite you if you feel like you're loving this vortex and you're loving everything that is being shared from my heart and from my soul of course, I invite you to be part of Fem Rebirth, my signature eight-week program where we dive into all of this so beautifully, so deliciously, so that you can be transformed, so that you can enter into this mastery of the Fem that you are. It's incredible. I love the women that get to be part of this vortex. They are your sisters. They are the authentic codes to sisterhood that you have felt here today. They are in this vortex of Fem Rebirth. And so I truly invite you, every woman deserves to rebirth into this paradigm. Every woman, you are divinely worthy to receive this upgrade and this new reality. There is nothing holding you back but you. And when you rebirth into this, and I've seen it, it is amazing what happens when you fully dedicate to you and you choose you. You open up everything that you have always desired. And I'm here to tell you that you can have it. It is yours. It already is yours to have. And so thank you so much for joining me here for day one of the Rise and Thrive as a Woman Masterclass. Thank you for your love. Thank you, thank you for being here, being part of the sacred energy in this space. And I really look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day two, where we thrive and welcoming you into Femme Rebirth. The future is Femme and it's time to become her. And remember that beautiful, you are a gift to the world and together we awaken, together we align and together we ascend. And I love you so much.